Good morning. Hello, my friends. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name's Hunter. My life is a mess, if you didn't know that already. But I think we all know that so far. Today's video is just kind of talking about me trying to get things figured out. Recently, I have discovered that I have a gluten sensitivity, which means I can't eat gluten because it makes me sick. And my younger sister, Taylor, has full-on celiac disease, which means she absolutely can't have it. So we're gluten-free. So I'm constantly trying to figure out foods that I can and cannot eat every day. And there's some things there's a, actually, there's a lot of things that I can't have that I didn't realize that I couldn't have. Like taco seasoning. Taco seasoning has gluten in it, has wheat in it, which I thought was weird. But there's lots of things that I can have that are really good. So yeah, trying to get that whole gluten thing figured out. So that's been one thing. And another thing that I'm trying to figure out is I have been very self-conscious of my figure for a couple years now and I've done just about everything and I was doing really good there for a little bit but then my motivation just was gone and I struggle to find the motivation to keep something going. Like I want it so bad, but it's just hard to find the motivation to actually go through with it. You know what I'm saying? Because I have struggled with anxiety and um, depression for, gosh, I don't even know how many years now, since high school. And I don't know if that's what's keeping me back, but like the thing is, my life is amazing. I have such an amazing life. But it just, I don't know. I don't know what's holding me back. I need help. <laughs> I don't know. And this vlog kind of is turning out to be sad. <laughs> and that's not what I wanted it to be at all. It's just kind of like a, hey, here's what's happening in my life. I could use some advice and tips. If you are gluten-free or know of any gluten-free recipes, send them my way. And what are your favorite effective workouts that I won't get burnt out on? Because that's my thing. I get burnt out on something and then it's like done for. <laughs> Cause like I was going to the gym for like four straight months and it was going so good, but then I just got burnt out on it. And then I just stopped going. And that was whenever I made a lot of my progress but I don't know. Life's weird. So yeah, that's not the happiest way to get this vlog started, but it's uh, better than nothing. So um, enjoy the rest. <laughs> Another thing that I just thought of, what can I do to not be tired 24 seven? Because no matter how much I sleep at night, no matter what time I go to bed, regardless in the morning, I'm still exhausted. And by the time I get home at like two or three, sometimes four, I am ready to crash. So ready to crash. So what can I do to boost my energy? I've tried energy drinks. I've tried caffeine. It's like my body's like, it's like not effective or whatever but what can I do? How can I be not tired every day of my life? <laughs> and speaking of boosting things, boosting my metabolism, my metabolism is garbage. I am so bloated by the end of the day because my metabolism is so slow. How do you boost your metabolism? What do you use to boost your metabolism? Because Whatever it is, I need to figure it out. <laughs> I just got dive bombed by a bird. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna call that for today's vlog, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was kind of all over the place, but uh, 
help a girl out, leave a comment down below on gluten-free recipes or workouts that you haven't gotten burnout on. But if you like this video, go ahead and give me a big ol' thumbs up. Also, while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so you never miss whenever I upload another video. But I'll see you guys on Saturday. Have a great day. Bye.